What's up guys, Oxel here. In today's video I will be going over the spreadsheet that I have made for investment tracking. Uh, so the basic functions of this is just that you can enter the amount of maps you want to run, the investment you put into the map, and then afterwards uh, when you have run the maps you can just calculate everything out uh, and it will give you uh, numbers for how much profit per map per hour etc uh, etc et so I will be walking you through step by step how to use it so to get started uh, there is some basics that we need to understand and the first one is that the red squares are, or cells are uh, values and uh, names that you should never touch uh, or you would break the document. The green ones is where you will be filling in name or amount and uh, the blue and purple or pinkish purple is cells where you will fill either the blue or the purple. You can fill both but in that case it will always prioritize uh, to calculate from the value in the blue cell instead of the purple cell. So fill one of the blue or purple cells. And to demonstrate this, so if we go down here, this is constants for the project, which would be the same uh, during the whole project. So in this case, you would have to enter the exalted price. Let's say right now they're pretty high, so let's say 174. The Kirak mod, you just write uh, the Kirak mod's name. So say I run uh, Fortune Favors the Brave, then I just write Fortune, that, because it's so long, all the other ones are just the one word that they are. Then the number of maps. So here, let's say for this project, I will run 60 maps. I can enter that, and that's just to calculate total profits and everything, and profits per map, so it's very important to have. Here, this doesn't really mean anything. You can fill the name of the map that you will be running. Uh, it won't change any of the calculations. It's just to display what strategy you were using if you share the spreadsheet. So let's just say I'm running Strand maps, right? Then here uh, is where I mentioned the blue and purple squares or cells. Uh, so in this case, I would fill either how many maps I got for an exalt or how many chaos I paid for one map because uh, while buying maps you probably used either or of these two so let's just say I paid three chaos for one map and that would be the strand then right but the thing we have to take into consideration here is what if we roll the maps let's say for mo uh, some of my projects, I chaos spam uh, my maps to get beyond on them, and then I take the average of how many chaos I spent per map on top of the cost of the actual map. So let's say I have an average of about 23 because 20 chaos to roll the map. And then here, after you ran the project, you can enter e either time per map or total time for the whole project for it to calculate profits per hour. So let's just say I had a total time of 120 minutes, so two hours. And th both of these are in minutes. Very important. Now here then, scarabs. This will be the first thing that you take into account for your investment. So what I need to mention here is that this spreadsheet is best used in uh, addition to Awakened Po Trade and TFT bulk selling tools. So if you were to look in game and you have Awakened PoE trade, then you can just price check anything really quickly. So you do this one, uh, Gilded Harbinger Scarab, then you press here to get the price in Exalts, for example. So let's just say, okay, one Exalt gives you 10 Scarabs, right? So then we right here, just to display what Scarab it is that we are mentioning. G for Gilded, I usually use, uh, and then Harbinger, right? And then here, Scarab per Exalt, and that was 10 as we saw here. And then you can see it calculates here, so per map there would be 17.4 Chaos. Uh, and total this would be 1044 Chaos investment for these 60 maps that we entered. Uh, also you can see the same thing here, this is where all the calculations uh, comes out. 
so the fortune we entered here, you can see that this goes down here, right? So fortune per map, three chaos for a total of 180 for 60 maps. Uh, and then you can just enter the same way if you use more sec uh, scarabs. If not, you can just leave it as is. And then here, uh, delirium orbs. So let's say I will be running delirium maps. Uh, the first orb I'm using might be the fine delirium orb. Then you need to write how many orbs are you using per map because you might you might may use anywhere from one to five per map, right? So let's say I use three fine delirium orbs in uh, for my maps, and uh, then here we can see yet again blue and purple. So Maybe I paid this one in chaos and not in exalt, so I know I might have paid 35 chaos per orb. And then you can see the calculation comes out here per map 105 because we're using three uh, three orbs per map, and this would be a total of 6,300 chaos for the 60 maps. Uh, here sextants same thing, only thing different you need to enter the amount of uses the sextant has for it to be able to calculate the price. So let's say I use awakened uh, or uh, yeah um, elevated sextants which has 15 or 16 uses. So I enter 16 uses here, I'm, this might be a beyond sextant right and I might have paid 6 exalts for this. So then you can see the uh, same thing with the calculations here. Uh, and also what I needed to mention here is that applicable for price and time independent of each other for the blue and purple is this cell. Because here you need to fill one of these two for the price of the map and then uh, these two, one of these two for the time of the map. So you can fill purple here and blue here or blue here and purple here, right? Doesn't have to be the blue, blue or purple, purple. Just want to put that in there quickly. Here, uh, same thing, just if you have other costs. So it add, adds up the blue squares. So you can enter that you had one exalt uh, investment here plus then 15 per map uh, in case you want to add it up and or you fill these two uh, it prioritizes the blue, as I said before. And then that's all for the investment, because here you have five other categories which you can have to be pretty flexible. Uh, so I didn't really find a reason to put in more specific categories than these three. And over here then, you have profit calculations. So after you ran all the maps, this is where Awakened, uh, or rather Excellence Next, comes into uh, the picture. Because if you want to track your specific maps, then you also uh, most likely will have to separate out the loot which you got from those specific maps. Otherwise, you can just take, let's say you had 300 chaos uh, in your stash tabs that you were calculating for before you start running the maps then after you were done you had 600 then you can write it as one category as other just to see the profits in those maps but you won't be able to separate out the loot right but if you do separate out the loot into a quad tab or something else and just want to track specific things for the loot and how much you earn from different sources then you can do that so uh, use awaken trade or um, excellence next my bad uh, so let's say i were to look at my current uh, stash tabs here and this was the loot that i got from my uh, from my uh, project right then here we can type anything basically, so I can write currency. Oh, misspelled currency. And then I can check the last thing on the list, right? To get the sum of all of the currency items that I have. And that would be 70,585 chaos, which I would write in my spreadsheet here. Let's just say 7,000 to make it easy. And then you would pick out all of that from the tab uh, for it not to get counted again. 
and then you could write let's say divination to get all of the divination cards and now you can write like that now i have scarabs here also so that would be a better example to start with because let's say i farm city squares i have a shit ton of scarabs and i can write scarab same thing here go to the last page watch the sum 20,000 and then you can enter that once you're done with everything and uh, entered all of the variables here then you can start looking at the uh, calculations here right so if you're interested in the per map cost of different sources the total cost of different sources all of that is displayed here per map here and total here uh, you can see here the number one investment you had it was the other category down here and you can also see the number one profit you made and in this case it's here raw currency uh, so then here you can see the calculations uh, in this case we can see here we had a investment per map of 402 chaos pretty high and a total for the 60 maps would be 24,159 and then the profits also need to make a fair comparison right so this would be the profit uh, total uh, because we only entered one number here and that would make up for a total profit of 116 chaos per map and then this here is to make a fair comparison right because you're you usually want to take your profits from a project minus the investment to see how much you actually gained uh, throughout those maps and in this case since we have much more investment than profit it would be minus 17,000 chaos that would be a profit per map each map the, in this case we lost 280 chaos and then here you can see the total profit per hour and since we took two hours 120 minutes for all of the maps and we earned 7,000 chaos throughout the maps we had a total profit per hour of 3,500 chaos but then accounting for the investment here you can see that we got minus 8,579 chaos per hour so with all of that information you can really decide you don't need to make large scale projects right but if you do a sample of 10 15 20 maps trying different strategies throughout the league you can easily see which one gives you the highest profit per hour maybe you switch builds you want to see do i earn more with one build or the other you can do 20 maps on one build and then 20 maps on the other on the other build sorry uh, so that's it for this spreadsheet really and as i said tft bulk selling tool i forgot to show you it is this one where you can easily check things you want to sell in bulk on the tft discord because delirium orbs let's say you're farming delirium mirror uh, then you can go into here i can select my tab delirium uh, select here delirium orbs i might bulk sell those for 150 percent right so then I just press select tab and it gives you the things here. So this you would do for all of the other things you would want to separate out, which you don't really want to price in uh, excellence next because some things you sell for actually more in bulk like delirium orbs uh, and it can be quite a big difference. And with all that said, if you have any questions, please comment down below. Um, this spreadsheet will get down or updated you can if you make a copy of this spreadsheet uh, here and then you press copy in the menu here uh, and if I update this you can just click this link to get redirected back to this um, spreadsheet uh, to get a new updates you can find my information here if you want to contact me any bug reports or formulas you think i should change or anything you're missing from the spreadsheet uh, please subscribe to my youtube you can find my link to my twitch channel uh, if you want to ask me any questions in the chat there uh, you can go follow me there also and 
with all that said, goodbye.